test. Oh yeah, the microphone works. <sighs> what is up? Starting soon. That's where we are, heading to the moon and beyond. is a retro game. Now I understand that there are certain games that are purely pressed in the retro category. I get that. I know that. But when does a game go from non-retro to retro? That's the question I've got. I don't know if anyone's got an answer, but hopefully... Hopefully, I'll maybe might have some time to look it up at some point. But hey, if not, it just remains a curiosity. If we can just take a moment to think about my upcoming disclaimers. Yeah, I might only go with one disclaimer tonight. I don't know, or whatever ever time it is where you are. But my one disclaimer that is, well, I think it's always here with us. And that disclaimer is there are no solutions. There are only trade-offs in a balanced reality. And anything I say or anything I do never defies that truth. You know what I'm saying? You take a sip of water. Cheers. Water does help, no doubt about it. Water's a good stuff. Good stuff, I like it. Oh. I think I'm just gonna sleep. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll just sit back and just sleep. This right here is hot. Close my eyes and just stream myself doing this. These are the default characters and the default character names assigned by the game. And who am I to disagree? I still maintain and will probably repeat it way too many times. But if anybody releases a movie called Percy the Berserker, 
There is no way it will fail. It could be the most heinous pile of crap of a movie, and people will not be surprised and will probably be entertained by that. It could be a brilliant movie. It might be the best Berserker movie out there. I don't know how many Berserker movies are there. Are there any other Berserker movies? Huh. Maybe there's a film called Berserker and <laughs> or even know about it. It's possible. Before I move on, let's let's get Cackle Spitz Brew. I think that's imp more important than saving the world. So my character is grotesquely OP. That's just all there is to it. Okay, that's just a... You just die that way with a blue, blue flame on your head. Okay. That's a cool way to die. I <laughs> really... Uh, uh, oh! It's pudding! Uh, Welcome to the Moonstream, all who have joined with the raiding party. I am playing a game, and maybe you can answer this question. When does a game become retro? Hmm? This game was released in 2012. Is that retro? Hmm. Someone must know. I could ask the internet. <laughs> and probably find an answer out there. <laughs> the nice thing about the retro category, says Evasive J, is that you can stream anything. Who will stop you? <laughs> the retro police. They're out there. Probably not the real retro police, though. Just people kind of pretending to be retro police. I don't know. Maybe I can just move in circles for an hour or so. I don't know. Would that be entertaining? Hello, Fuzzy. Welcome to the Moonstream. But I always build a glass cannon, so I might be a tiny bit biased. You have glass cannons in this, huh? Wow. This game is massive. It's got a lot. It's funny because you look at it and you're like, oh, this is adorable. This, <laughs> this would be a game where I just move around and press a button and hit things and smile and grow. It's like, no, you have gems. You have skills. You have stats. You have all sorts of different possibilities. The build possibilities are absolutely overwhelmingly astounding. You could play this game for multiple lifetimes and never be completely exhausting what it has to offer. And I hate to raid and run. Oh, it sounds like food time. It's dinner time for old pudding. So I'll be lurking for a little while. Enjoy your meal pudding. Thank you as always for the raid. Some assembly required. Hmm.